What is the file picker? In this video, we're going to explore Moodle's file picker and how you can use it. You might see the file picker if you upload a file using the activity chooser, or if you're in the text editor and want to add an image through the image icon or a media file such as sound or video by clicking the Moodle media icon, or if you click the H5P icon to upload an H5P file. If we click to add a file, on the next screen when we scroll down to Content, we can access the file picker by clicking the Add button. What you see on the left side are links which are known as repositories, and each of these are places where you can retrieve files to display on your course. The one you'll use most often is Upload a file. This will allow you to access your documents from your computer or USB drive. Server files are the other files in other courses which you have access to as a teacher. So for instance, if you're teaching Grade 1 English in one course, and you wanted to add a file that you had used in Grade 2 English, a different course, you go to Server Files to locate it. Recent Files shows you the last few files that you've uploaded, and it's context sensitive. This means that Moodle knows if you want to upload an image through the image icon, it will only show you images. If you want to upload a sound file using the media icon, it will only show you media files. Private Files allows you to retrieve files you have previously uploaded in your personal private file space, which we'll look at in a separate video. URL Downloader allows you to add a web link and it will download for you the images on that web page. Other links or repositories, depending on your admin settings, may include Wikimedia, where you can search for an image of a particular size, or Google Drive as here, or OneDrive, Dropbox and similar, and the Content Bank, which links to the Content Bank in the nav drawer, where a teacher can create or upload H5P activities. The files in the file picker can be displayed in three different ways. And if we click Recent Files, you can see how this works. If you look at the far right, files are displayed like a tree. The middle button displays them with details of their size, type, when they were last modified. And the third button shows them as icons displaying what type of file they are. So for instance, we can easily see that this is a PDF file and this is a Word document.